Here's a look at five lighting setups in the very same room, cinematic lighting. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant Lens, we're gonna light five different cinematic lightings in this very same room. We're gonna make ourselves work in this small space. We're gonna do five different setups from really bright and open to really dark and dreary. So, JP Morgan and... Eileen Chase. JP Morgan Chase, JP Morgan Chase. So how do you find Eileen? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Eileen.Chase. There you go, Eileen.Chase. So check that out, and here we go. Five different lighting setups in this tight room. Let's get started, see what we can do. For our first setup here, we're going to create window light in this room. You can see from the C200 in the corner that we have some light in the window. If I open this up exposure-wise enough to be able to create window light in this room, it just blooms that uh, window and the curtain and it looks terrible. So we're gonna set up a light inside and create a window light. We've got two Intellitex, that's an LED 160. It's called a light cloth. This is a two by two. So two foot by two foot panel. Velcro all across the back so it hooks into the brackets. In this case comes with it also a, a very low profile softbox, which I absolutely love because it makes it easy to get it into tight places. It's got a scrim for the softbox. It's got a great uh, egg crate grid for the softbox. And then of course you've got your controller. Also you have V-mount or um, gold mount batteries. You can run these things on battery as well. And because they're LEDs, they're gonna run for a long time on a, a battery. We're gonna put these together into a frame give us a big, broad source. Light Cloth and uh, Intellitech, their goal is that you have a small footprint to travel with, but you can make big sources, big lights on set. We're gonna set this up as two two by two uh, light panels, 160. So the first one will be our window lights. So we're gonna turn that on. That just gives our window light coming in. It gives us a sense of the light from the window. Now the second one we're gonna turn on to just open the shadows up just a little bit on the front ground, so, uh, foreground. So we've dialed that one down a little bit. It becomes our broad source that's going to open the shadows, so turn on that second light. What's nice about putting this together like this is that you have the ability to control each side independently. I can make the source for the window much brighter. I can make the fill either brighter or softer. It gives me control of both those areas independent of each other, but they motivate from the same place. Our last light is an LC120. So what this is is a 1x3. So you've got those great 1x1 one one, uh, flat LED panels. We've got three of them in a row here. We've got a grid on it, so it'll keep it really nice and focused on her and give us a light from behind. We've got it just slightly behind her, so it's gonna give us a nice rim behind her and give a little more interest to the scene. So let's turn that one on. So there's our first lighting setup. A little window light with a nice rim from behind. For our next setup, we're gonna go to a little more practical and moody look in the same daylight scene. So it's still a daylight scene, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get Get rid of the 70 watt bulb in this we're going to put a 200 watt bulb and then wrap a little diffusion around it reason to wrap the diffusion around it is because these uh, 200 watt bulbs are not frosted so you get uh, too much of a hard line so that diffusion is going to give us a nice soft light in the room and i usually carry a case of these i have an skb case full of light bulbs so i can change those out in the practicals so we've added that light to give us just a little bit of warmth in the room this is going to be a lot more moody we'll add the uh the one by three light cloth, cloth here. The one by three is gonna still give us that nice rim light behind her. So it just gives us a nice moody scene. Nice light on her face, nice warmth in the background with the practical light. Practicals give you depth and make, make for a very interesting frame to help to have a color depth and also light depth. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one of the two by twos just on the side as to open up our shadows. So that's two lights and a practical and a much different look than the bright sunny day we did in the first one. The next setup we're gonna do is day for night. We've set our camera at 3200 degrees and we put four stops of ND on it. The reason we're doing four stops of ND is because we've got to crush the windows and make them look dark enough to be believable that it's night outside and we're getting blue light coming through the windows. So we crush the light in the room, down four stops so we can get those windows in the right place. Now we're going to take and start adding uh, some of our lights to kind of imitate blue or moonlight. The first one, we've got a one by three light cloth and it's at 5600 degrees, so it's going to be blue in the camera. Then we're going to add a light on the side here with a grid in it. That's gonna give us a, this is a two by two, light cloth two by two from the side with the grid. That's again at 5,600 degrees, so it's gonna be very blue. So we have a nice blue pool all around her on the bed like it's coming from the two windows in the background. We're now going to add a practical in the back. We actually went to a 300 watt bulb because we have so much ND on here. We crushed the light in this room. We needed as much light out of that as we possibly can. That practical is nice because it just gives us a little bit of depth. We took the diffusion off from it so we have more uh, intensity. Gives us some uh, depth in the room and just a little, a little bit of interest. 
Last light we're going to add is not at 5600 degrees, but at 3200 degrees, so it matches the color balance on our camera. So we turn on this a two by two light cloth, turn that on with a soft box on it. That now becomes our key light on our face. It should be a natural color. It should match the color on the camera. All of the light cloth products by Intellitech are fabulous because they're 3,000 to 10,000 degree color range. By colors, you can change them whatever color you need to. And they're a CRI of 95 plus, which gives us a really good solid color rating. So we can set that key light at 3,200 degrees, give a nice clean light on her face, and that gives us our day for night. There's our third setup. It's bright in this room, but it doesn't look bright in the camera. Lighting setup number four, we Velcroed our light to the ceiling. Literally, we Velcroed a two by two light cloth to the ceiling. You just peel off and put the Velcro on the back of it so you got the sticky side up, and then you just push that onto the ceiling and it's gonna stick there just fine. It's a great way to mount these lights because it's such a low profile softbox and it's the ability to get it straight onto the ceiling means that it gets it up and out of your way. It's a great way to work. You've got this long cable here, which we've got the extension on, which gives us plenty of cable to get back to the control box and the controls and allows us to control our light from overhead and just be able to use it in a very tight space. These lights are fabulous for working in tight spaces. They really are. So we've taken the four stops of ND off the camera now. We're at an F like four, which means we're not wide open. We're down a stop, but our powers on all these lights are really low. We're down at like 18% on the key light. And now we're gonna add our 1% to the side here through this uh, unbleached muslin and it's just, it's just a nice kind of warmth on, the, on her face from the side. and just gives us a little bit of openness on her face, warms things up. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add back our practical. And we changed out the bulb. No more 300 uh, watt bulb. We're back to like a 70 watt bulb, but now we're on a dimmer. We've dimmed it way down, so it's not quite as, as bright. In order to get the control that we have right now, we put dubatine on each one of the windows, and that just blocks all of the light that's coming into the room from outside. We're letting the curtains just go dark. It's nighttime, just letting them fall off to dark uh, to black. We've got that overhead light that's just really low profile, which is what's so nice about these. They're just easy to work in tight spaces because they're so small and so in, uh, have such a small profile. Our last setup is a little more stylized, a little more interesting. So we're gonna start with just the lamp in the background. I've got my camera set at 3,200 degrees, and then we're gonna turn on a, a two by two. It's just on the floor back there. It's gonna bounce up into the ceiling, and it gives us a nice silhouette of her as she's on the phone right there. It just looks great with Eileen on the phone in the foreground. Now I'll add just a little the muslin in the front, and that's gonna give us a little bit of light on her face. This is nice. It looks, you could get away with this. We can make the muslin a little brighter. The muslin is on the one by three in the front, but I think we've gotta push this over the top a little bit. We're gonna add a red gel here on the side. So Jolene's gonna turn the red gel on for us. And now that has a much different look. It has, you know, just a, it's a music video. It's a, just a little more stylized look at her sitting on the bed, talking on the phone there. So the light that has a gel on it, we took the two by two, folded it in half, put the gels on the front of it, and then just held that, backed it up to the two by four uh, frame. So we got a black background to kill all the white light on the other side. You can really fold these down to a single one by one and use them that way as well. So that, looked, that worked very, very well. Emerald is Hollywood in that, and that gives us our final light. So there's our kind of a little more edgy fun, and there's our fifth setup here in the same room. I think the phone just rang. Must be for you. I think so. What, you're having trouble estimating your next job? Well, you should get the download from JP Morgan. Go to thuslendless.com. We've got a great download that'll teach you how to estimate your next job. Funny you called, it's such a moment. So there you have it, five lighting setups in the same room. Using those lights from Intellitech have made this very easy because they're so low profile, they're easy to tape on the wall and to get into tight places. Just very easy to work with. We're folding them into singles and doubles, triples. It's, been, it's worked really well. The color as well, being able to dial that up and down, just made it really simple to work in here. From very simple, bright, kind of looking window light to a little more aggressive red light as we finished up the day. So, did you have a good time? I did, I had a great time. Excellent. <laughs> So, I wonder if someone's calling me on the phone. Hello? It's oh. your future calling. Oh, it's my future? In the future, we're going to do more cinematic lighting lessons just like this. So stand by. Look forward to that. Subscribe here at the Slide Lens so you won't miss a one of them. Cinema lighting, crazy lighting, unreal lighting, real lighting, and really going to be a lot of lighting stuff going on in the future. So keep those cameras rolling and keep the on future. clicking. The future. Right. It is bright. Oh, there's a lot of luminosity in the future. That wasn't very funny, was it?